I actually cannot put into words how excited I am for this video. Not technically for this video, but just for this, for what's about to go down. You're gonna have seen from the title, I need to sit down. And I didn't wanna start in my dressing room because honestly, every vlog, every flip and rock vlog in my dressing room, like it's a bit boring, but listen, it's just a sturdy, and I, we need to, guys, we need to chat. Like we need to chat. So I need to find a nice comfy spot. Right, hang on. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I need to explain to you guys what's going on. I'm literally, oh my God, right. Let's start from the top. Let me just start by saying thank you for joining me back on my channel for another video. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. And yeah, today is a really exciting video that has been, the video has not been in the works for a long time, but what this video is about has been in the works for a really long time. And I'm just so excited. So tomorrow is my best friend Taylor's birthday. She is turning 30 tomorrow. Brad, do you want to come in the video? Do you want to say happy birthday, Tay? Still hates because still hates being held. I just realized, of course, a lot of you will have seen Taylor in one of, a couple of videos ago. Um, and a few of you may have like seen bits of our friendship on Instagram and stuff, but it's just crazy because me and Taylor have actually only been friends for like two years now, which is just insane because honestly, like, how do I explain this? I feel like a few years ago, if you'd have asked me about friends and friendship groups, like, I would never ever have thought that I was gonna meet anyone new or any like new friends were gonna come into my life or I was gonna make any new, any new friends really. I just didn't think that was down for me. I just always thought like the people that are in my life have been in my life literally before like Love Island. Like I've literally had the same friends for years upon years now. And yeah, I just never ever thought I was gonna make any new friends and especially not a friend the way I have with Taylor. It really just goes to show that like, it doesn't matter how long you've known someone, like when you just meet like a soulmate of a friend, it's just different. It's just like when you know, you know, the same way when you meet like a partner, like a, a boy or a girl and you fall in love. Like I just sound so deep. I feel like it's the same thing. Like when you meet someone that you know, you're just like, I am like our brains, we are the same person, we are connected. Um, And yeah, I met Taylor two years ago and we've literally become best 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 friends basically it's her 30th birthday tomorrow and i have been planning a really exciting surprise for her 30th birthday so this has been planned for months <laughs> and it's been such a big secret we are going on a huge ski trip i'm literally so excited i've literally planned the whole thing and i'm going to be telling her tomorrow about the ski trip. So I've got, I've had this little passport thing made, which I'll show you guys, um, which will open tomorrow. And it says we're going to Courchevel. That's where we're going for skiing. We're going to Courchevel 1850, which is like my dream spot where I've always wanted to go on a skiing holiday. And so has she. We've been speaking about it for ages that we wanted to go on a skiing holiday together. And then we kind of just like stopped speaking about it. So I'm really hoping that she doesn't have any idea, but I feel like she could she could have like an inkling, but I don't, I really don't know. But what she won't be expecting are some surprises I have planned along the way, which I'm literally so excited about. So basically, um, I'll be telling her tomorrow that we're going to Courchevel for a ski trip. But what she doesn't know is that I've actually invited, there's like 12 of us going. And I'm only going to be telling her tomorrow that it's her and her husband, Jack, me, Tommy, and then Bambi and Story, so Story's her daughter, literally the same age as Bambi. That's who she's gonna like be thinking is going on the ski trip, so just the six of us, um, which I know she'll be so happy about, but what she doesn't know is that I've actually invited her other best friend, Perry, and her partner, her sister India's coming with her partner, Zoe's coming with Danny, um, there's literally loads of us going and she's gonna find that out on the day that we're going and everyone's gonna like jump out and surprise her and do like a big surprise. Um, so yeah, I'm just really hoping tomorrow that she doesn't say when I tell her like who's going. She's so the sort of person that would be like, I'm so happy. It's just like a little intimate trip. Like I love that. I really hope she doesn't say something and put her foot in it. And I'm like, oh my God, if only you knew. I've rented out a huge ski chalet in Courchevel. I'm literally so excited to see the chalet. The pictures of it just look insane. She won't be expecting that at all. I probably, I probably will tell her that tomorrow. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me for the surprise really. The planning that's gone into this has been a lot and it's been going on for months. Like I literally started planning this right at the start of the year um, and 
we've had like a huge secret group chat where everyone's been talking like everyone's been doing skiing lessons like all behind taylor's back uh, this vlog is going to be like a general vlog anyway but it's also going to include that really fun hopefully gorgeous moment when i surprise her just quickly before i go to bed i was just popping my moisturizer on my face and i hate i don't want to come across big-headed whatsoever but honestly i feel like my skin is really pulling through at the minute it's really holding it together for me. I went through a period a few weeks ago where I was getting quite a lot of breakouts and at the minute, I'm very happy and I feel like I'm onto something. I'm onto something, I think I've got a secret and I am gonna share it with you because we don't gatekeep over here. I just don't think it's a coincidence that I've been so much more on it with taking my vitamins recently and now suddenly my skin is really got its ish together. The vitamins that I've been taking are the hair, skin and nail vitamins from my vitamins. I've spoken about my vitamins on my Instagram before, but not here over on my YouTube. Hello, Bread, again. He wants his dinner, that's why he keeps shouting at me. I'm gonna give you your dinner in a minute, baby. The reason I actually got back on it with taking my vitamins was not for the purpose of hair, skin and nails. It was actually for the purpose of, obviously, in my last video, I mentioned how I was told I had glandular fever. Everyone around me kept saying to me, like, have you got a good vitamin? Are you taking vitamins? Um, you need to take a B12. So I got back on it with taking. B12. My vitamins have a B12. They literally have a vitamin for every single thing you could possibly need. When I go on their website, I'm like so overwhelmed because I'm like, I, I want I want to take all of them. Like I literally want to take all of them. And that is also why I take their multivitamins because if you just want an all-in-one, this is your go-to. If you don't know about B12, B12 is amazing for fatigue and just giving you that little extra boost if you feel like you're a little bit iron deficient, if you feel blooming exhausted, if you're a new mum. The multivitamin gummies and the hair, skin and nail gummies, these are my jam these are my jam like they are my secret i'm gonna be honest with you especially these like if you're looking for that glowing skin if you're looking for the strong nails the strong hair especially for my postpartum mamas that have the hair breakage that's why i actually got on with taking these as well because i did have the breakage from having bambi these are essentially like sweets with them being gummies they are just so ideal for me because i'm not that great with taking tablet but luckily these b12 ones they are absolutely tiny so i'm just gonna take these now i'm also gonna take oh actually i've got these to try as well they sent me these new ones. These are cherry flavor and they're heart shaped. How cute are they? Once I finished um, this tub, I'll start taking those, but yeah. I actually look forward to having my vitamins because it's a sweet, literally a sweet. I'm actually nearly out of these ones. I need to order some more, but it's only one of these every day. Sometimes I wish it was more because they are so delicious. <laughs> My vitamins have given me a code which I'm going to leave on screen. It's code Molly May for an extra 15% off on the website. If you are a little bit overwhelmed when you go on the website, my recommendations would most definitely be the multivitamin gummies, the hair, skin and nail gummies, the B12, which I'm absolutely loving at the minute. And my body needed this so much. Like I'm really annoyed at myself that I didn't start taking these sooner. Code Molly May for an extra 15% off online. I will leave the details down below. And thank you so much to my vitamins for sponsoring this part of the video. Good night, guys. And I'll catch up with you all in the morning. I'm literally not be able to sleep tonight i am so flipping excited night good morning guys it's bright and early this monday morning i'm now just about to set off to drive to taylor's it's about an hour and a half drive from me which to be fair it sounds a lot but it's actually not that bad i've done it that many times now i think i could actually do it with my eyes shut but i get petrol on the way so i'm probably going to try and grab a coffee and then just have a really nice drive down there and i don't know if maybe the clip after this will literally be her opening her present i don't know i'm literally like so nervous i had a dream last night that she opened it oh my god this is so funny i had a dream last night that she opened it and wasn't even happy and was like this is kind of like an inconvenience like i'm not <laughs> it's like i've got a lot on at the minute on on literally i'm not joking on my life that is the dream i had that she opened it she was like oh like you know i have got a lot on at the minute and i'm not sure if i'm really going to be able to fit it in could you imagine? Anyway, ready for the day. I'm going to grab petrol and then have a nice, easy commute down there. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Are you excited, Taylor Blue? <laughs> no, I feel like this is a lot. This is very overwhelming. Happy birthday. Is it money? <laughs> yeah, we can do it. You're rich. <laughs> I need to get the coin out. So oh!
Oh my god! Yeah. I can't believe it's on Sunday. Yeah, literally less than a week. Oh, baby, get cracking! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. That is. Oh, I thought as well. You know, the other day when I went for a pedicure, you were at mine, I went for yeah. a pedicure. I wasn't going for a pedicure, I was going for a skiing lesson. No, you weren't! Oh, oh, I that's why I felt so bad. I texted you, I feel so bad I've left you. Like, yeah. I thought, I'll never leave you to go for a pedicure. Oh, oh I, I saw you just really mean with one. I didn't care. No, I didn't. Cabin fever isn't even the word. I don't actually know how to describe the levels of cabin fever I'm feeling right now. I haven't left the house in nearly five days. Like, I haven't left this house. Basically, the entire week, me and Bambi have just hibernated. My face hasn't seen sunlight in a full week. I, I don't know what has happened this week. Every single day, I've been like, right, we're getting out today. It just hasn't happened. Today, I was absolutely adamant that me and her were going to go to the Trafford Centre. And then it was just hailstoning. And I just thought, you know what? It's a Saturday. Like... What am I thinking? It's going to be a disaster. But the reason why I'm absolutely fine in the fact I've not left the house all week is because we're leaving for skiing tomorrow. It's Saturday night. Oh my God, I'm literally... I can't, I cannot put into words how excited I say I am. Like, I literally can't. I am sick of keeping secrets from Taylor. Like, I'm sick and tired of it now. I don't, and I'm actually starting to believe my own lies. Um, I'm starting to believe everything I'm saying to her because obviously we've got the surprise tomorrow of... Everyone jumping out, surprising her. So just to reiterate what's happening, she currently thinks it's just herself, her husband, her baby story, me, Tommy and Bambi going on this trip. So six of us, but actually there's about 13 of us. Tommy being Tommy, obviously I've been saying to him all week, like, have you got stuff for the trip? Do you need to get clothes? Do we need to go out? He's like, no, 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 I'm sorted. Like I've got everything. The day before we go, he's like, I need to go to Trafford Centre. Like I need to get things. I've got nothing to wear. I'm like, honestly, you've known, no, he's known about this trip. Four months? Four months. Why have you left it? Like, if that's not a, well, it might even be a girl thing, but if that's not a Tommy Fury thing, I do not know what it is. So Tommy's mum is coming here in a minute to just watch the monitor. We're gonna put Bambi down to bed. <sighs> I think that could be her. Let's see. It is her, so I'll report back in a minute just because I want to welcome her in. Um, yeah, Trapper Centre for us tonight, can't we? We've actually now been to the Trapper Centre and come back. I did try and get some footage in there, but I mean, the fact that I wanted to go to the Trafford Centre earlier with Bambi, the fact I wanted to go to the Trafford Centre, oh my gosh, no, honestly, there's... I'm absolutely stunning, I'm absolutely stunning. What is going on? Also, I didn't think my postpartum hair breakage was that bad, um, but... I must have been so wrong because that's the regrowth and obviously the regrowth is great, probably the vitamins helping that, but I don't think I realised how bad the breakage actually was because bangs for me, like honestly, there's me thinking I was growing out my bangs. I've still got them loves, I've still got them. We've done the Trafford Centre, we did the Trafford Centre, rating out of 10 on like how vile the experience was, 10, in fact 11, 11 out of 10, not for me. I needed to sit down like halfway through the experience because it was not good. The fact that I wanted to take Bambi there today on a Saturday, <laughs> we went at eight o'clock, we went at eight o'clock at night. It was literally like jam packed. Here is my luggage that I'm taking. This one is packed with all my ski stuff already full. Um, we opted for a soft case this time so that it weighed a lot less. I this on my Instagram yesterday, but can you cope? Sorry. <sighs> I actually cannot cope with this. I've wanted a pair of Timberlands for so long. I've seen a few cool girls wearing Tims and making them look, ma making them look really, really cool. So I'm going to attempt to do that this trip. And I was so happy that they've bought, I don't know, they've probably been here forever actually, but they've got some with slightly more of a platform now because 
these baby ones here, they literally have the exact same in the adult version. And I didn't love with my old Tims when I was about 15, how flat they were to the ground. So the fact that I managed to get some, there's not even a platform, it's just a little bit more of a base on them. Um, but yeah, I got Bambi some as well. How cute, they're like way too big for her. Well, I still put her feet in them and just take a picture of them in, her in them because they're so cute, absolutely. So this time tomorrow, we will be in Courchevel with the whole group. No more secrets, no more hiding. I literally cannot wait. Just a quick side note, guys. It goes very abruptly into the surprise now. I'm so sorry about the way this was filmed. I just, I was so overwhelmed this morning. It was this morning because I'm posting this tonight. Um, but yeah, it goes straight into the surprise now. I'm so sorry for the rubbish footage. Enjoy. Excited. The location of the chalet, I cannot even explain. That oh my god, there's a dog there. Oh, Bobby will love that. Um, where those steps are, there, that's a ski slope right there. And this is our chalet. I'm gonna do a proper tour for you guys, but team, it's not what it looks like. Oh, he's tucking into the food already. How are you feeling, guys? My girl, my boy, so happy. She's been an absolute angel all day. Oh, I'll have a good daddy instead. Mm -hmm. Love you. Um, honestly, we are so over the moon. If you can see how dry my lips are, I do apologise. I've never had dry lips in my life. Um, but yeah, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I'm so happy. What have we got here? Cookies. No, 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 you guys pick. I'm not bothered. Okay, guys, quick tour of the chalet. Um, I was going to include this in my vlog that's coming from this trip, which I've not started yet, but I'm going to do this in this one now. <laughs> just, just to lengthen out a little bit because I'm very aware this vlog is so short. Um, but how cosy is this? I wish I had vlogged it in the daylight because it was so much more beautiful, but even more beautiful when it was like the daylight beaming in. Hello. Uh, How's it up there? Great. Bambi, story oh, that's the play set. That could be the crush up there. Yes, yeah, the play correct. center. Hi, Bambi. Just, just wait for another one of my farts to grow up. Oh, no, I'm thanks. Not going to <laughs> oh, look at these. Hi. 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 Oh, Bamba. Oh, she might. She might be there. The Motley Crue here. Time is half seven. This is the kitchen. <laughs> Um, where we have a lovely chef, I can't remember his name, cooking up a storm in there for dinner. Um, and this is the current setup. We've got a log fire on the go. Here we are. This is immaculate Woo! seeds. And one word for how everyone's feeling in this moment. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Oh, don't worry. Fantastic. Stunning. Stunning. Overwhelmed. We've got the punch on the go. We've got balloons for Tay's birthday. And then. All excited for some food. Yeah, I'm blooming hungry. Oh, I wish you guys could see out here, but it's. Yeah. It's alright. You can see it on my vlog. Yeah, you can watch Zoe's vlog for the remainders. But I just can't get over how cozy this is. It's so, cozy. It's so special. So, yeah, this is the like, main living area. I'm not going to do like a full tour of all the bedrooms and stuff because 
it's a little bit boring. But let's reconvene downstairs. Then here we have a little corridor where all the bedrooms are coming off. Miss Perishan, at your demand. Um, hey guys. One of the nursery Welcome rooms. Wow. Girl. We've got the camera all set up, ready to go. We're just getting wow, look at all the snacks. Hang on. We're actually wearing the exact same outfit. What in the snack and hell is going on here? Oh, this is uh, basically, I'm going to be quite honest about what I did. Perry sent me what she was wearing to <laughs> the plane, and I basically went copy, paste, and wore the exact same thing. There you go. Yeah, mm. I just used her as my inspo, so. Who wore it better? Let us know. 100% you. Yes. I requested a stair gate an hour ago. They've literally found no, that. I'm sorry. I think they've made it. I brought this from home because that's the kind of guy. No, I oh, made right. that from The track. staff here um, so are like our next this level. This is where Story's going to be sleeping. Beautiful. It's going to be a bit tricky because normally she'd stay in a different room. But well, we're see. in the same boat. I'll quickly show you. Our room's here, but no, we have managed to put our cot just around the corner where our wardrobes are. That is our toilet, so not quite sure what we're going to do about that. Um, TBC. Um, I think we're going to have to use like the sort of shared toilet down there. Um, but yeah, there is a swimming pool <laughs> downstairs on like the bottom floor, but I forgot the code to the door um, and I don't know where my phone is right now. So I'll include that on one of the other vlogs. But guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. I know this is probably the shortest video I have ever done, but guess what? I'm going to get this up tonight. I'm getting it up tonight. So this is the most real time vlog you'll have ever seen from me. Um, excuse the state of me. I really need a shower. Plan now, get Bambi and Story to bed, have a lovely dinner and I will vlog this whole trip so the next video will be the ski trip vlog but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i feel like the surprise i filmed it so badly basically the footage that i got was like not usable because it was just a mess but yeah i'm so 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 pleased with how everything went like the surprise was perfect i wouldn't have changed a single thing about it and now we've got four nights in courchevel and i'm literally just so 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 happy and excited so we made it to the end of this video i love you all millions and hopefully i will see you all in my next one bye